Did you know there's possibly 81 fonts that you're potentially not using inside of Roblox Studio? So a while back, in January 25th, Roblox announced that they're going to be adding 81 new fonts into the Roblox Marketplace. Now that's quite a lot of fonts, and Roblox has even stated that they aim to add the entire library of Google Fonts into Roblox Studio. Fonts are a very important aspect when it comes to making new UIs. They change the scene and the feeling of a scene, and it really changes how something can appear. So there is a specific way you can access these fonts. So as you can see, here we are on Roblox Studio. As you can see, if we go ahead and make a screen GUI inside of starter GUI, and then add a text label into here, we're going to be faced with a couple of properties. So let's drag this into the center of the screen here. And as you can see, if we head to font, font face, we have all of these fonts we have access to. So we have these fonts, these fonts, these fonts, and really anything you can imagine. So just for testing purposes, I'm going to set this to text scaled, so we can just view it a little better. We have quite a lot of fonts here, but of course there are way more fonts we can unlock. So if you actually head to toolbox, which is in home, and then on toolbox, you can see that we can search by fonts. So if you don't see that, you just click on toolbox, head to marketplace, and then where it says models, you should be able to see fonts. Now I can see a really cool feature with Roblox allowing you to upload your own fonts in the future. I think that would give a lot of potential to developers, but we have yet to see that come. And as you can see, there are so many fonts here that we have access to. So let's say we want to use this font here, Interfont. All we have to do is click on it, and then we can click on Install. Okay, there we go, it's been installed. And now, if we head to our text label, head to font face, and then search for enter, you can see that font has been added into our Roblox Studio. Now, I have a really cool tutorial using Roblox Rich Text. If you want to quickly have a look at that video, a card is now going to come up in the top right of your screen. If not, carry on. We can actually use Rich Text to customize our fonts. So let's just go ahead and enable rich text on our text label. Okay, there it is, rich text. And then let's click on this. And then let's move this away and search for text. And now you can see we can actually use rich text with our font. So let's say, let's just use the open arrow symbol here. And then the close arrow and then hello. And then the close B. And then uh, how are you today? How are you today? And as you can see, Rich Text does indeed work with this custom font. Now even cooler, we can actually use the specific fonts using Rich Text. Okay, so this tag might be a tiny bit long, so just for convenience, I'm going to put this up on the screen right now. We're going to type in open arrow font family equals, and then we're going to use a string here, non-integer surprisingly. Okay, so let's have a look for a font that we like. Maybe we should um, use a non-formal font with a formal font, so let's do that. So we have this rather non-formal, just laid-back font. Let's click on the three dots here, and then let's click Copy Asset ID. Now once we've done that, we're going to paste that in, this string. Then we're going to put the closing arrow. And then we're going to say, why hello, or no, let's just say hello. And then we're just going to close it with slash font. As you can see, it uses that custom font. And then let's just copy this again for convenience and say, how do you do? How do you do? And now of course that's using this font. Let's just add a space here so it's easier for us to read. There we go. And then let's just look for a fancy font here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a step up from the last font. And then let's just replace the string. And there we go, we have this custom text label using multiple types of fonts. Now even better, what happens if I told you we could load in fonts through scripting? Yes, we can indeed. So let's just put hello here. This will be super useful maybe in the future when we'll have thousands, maybe even millions of different types of fonts, and then you want, for example, UI to be easily changed, you could simply use a script to change it all. So let's create a local script inside of here. And then let's just say local text label equals script.parent and the parent of this script is the text label. And now we're going to say text label 
dot font face equals and now let's look for another font okay let's just use this font then we're going to copy the asset ID of this and then we can't unfortunately do this we have to say font dot new and then in here we're just going to pass the ID but you if you pass the ID just like this it's not gonna work now you may be thinking to put in strings like that but it's still not going to actually work we need to get the asset ID and luckily to get the asset ID it's super simple you just put rbx asset ID colon slash slash and now hopefully if we publish this and now hopefully if we publish this call it something like font game I don't know font game create and now let's run this and hopefully we should be getting a custom font so this is the font we have before and maybe let's just add a wait three so we can see the change happen okay and then let's run it and see if the font changes so there we go we have that Arial like font now okay one two three and as you can see the font changes so hopefully you learned something from this font tutorial today I know a lot of people didn't know about this feature so hopefully this allows you to unlock more potential with your UI development thank you for tuning in if you have any questions or scripting errors or you just want to chat with our community about Roblox development and anything alike just head to our forms that's forms.thecookie.dev thank you for tuning in that's all from me have a good night and bye bye